Welcome behind the scenes of the DEA Museum. I'm Casey, the museum's historian. And I'm Emma, the museum technician. And we're here in the collections facility to introduce this month's featured artifact, a bottle of Miss Winslow's soothing syrup, a patent medicine that contained morphine. Every month, we'll take you into the collection and share stories about our most exciting objects. This syrup was commonly used in the 19th and early 20th centuries when Americans knew little about the ingredients in the food they ate and the medicines they took. At that time, products didn't have convenient nutrition and ingredient labels on packaging like we do today. Plus, drug makers often added fillers that made drugs cheaper to produce. This was especially true of patent medicines, or treatments that could be purchased without a prescription and were commonly protected by trademarks. They were actually rarely ever patented. Consumers did not know the contents of patent medicines, including the ones they gave their children. Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup was first introduced in the 19th century and marketed to calm small children, clean teeth, freshen breath, and relieve constipation. Unknown to parents, each bottle contained a dangerous amount of morphine and alcohol. Morphine is an addictive pain reliever made from opium. A German scientist named Friedrich Sertrner first discovered morphine by isolating it from raw opium sap in 1805. More than a decade later, Merck became the first pharmaceutical company to commercially produce the drug. Other companies and private entrepreneurs incorporated morphine into their patent medicines until it was widely used in the U.S. by 1870. While morphine is addictive for people of all ages, it can be fatal to children, even in small doses. Some infants who consumed Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup went to sleep and never woke up. This sad reality was not depicted on the product's advertising, which showed happy, peaceful babies cradled by beautiful new mothers. The mother in this colorful trade card shows her smiling children a newspaper ad for the syrup that promises to ease pain from teething. Public outcry over poisonings and contaminated food and medicines led Congress to pass the Pure Food and Drug Act in 1906. The act required the listing of certain ingredients on product labels, including opiates, cocaine, and cannabis. Shortly thereafter, the American Medical Association denounced Ms. Winslow's soothing syrup because of its dangerous combination of ingredients and link to infant deaths. It remained on consumer shelves until the 1930s. The DEA Museum has hundreds of historical medicine bottles in its growing collection of over 45,000 artifacts, photographs, videos, and documents. All illuminate the important moments in the history of DEA, federal drug law enforcement, and drug use in American culture. To learn more about DEA's work and other fascinating stories from the collection, follow the museum on Facebook, go to deamuseum.org, or visit the museum in person. Thanks for joining us.